uh, Ola KubeCon, uh, Shamai. Um, please feel free to take photos as I go through this. So as per the introduction, that's me. If you want to contact me, get me on Twitter. But I'm here to talk about Cloud Native Whales. Now, whenever I speak to people about Cloud Native Whales, they get quite excited. And that, that makes me excited until I realize they think that's this. And it's not that. We're better. We're like the original Game of Thrones. We've got a dragon on our flag. Um, so I was going to lots of conferences. I was having to go outside of Wales to go to these conferences to meet people like yourselves. Um, and I wanted to take it back home. So that's where I get started. And there's a chap called Ben there. Ben uh, runs Katakoda. So I had a couple of pints with him. And he said, do you know what? There's no Cloud Native Wales. So after another couple of pints, I bought a domain, and I set up Cloud Native Wales. Um, this was our first meetup. We did it in, at a lunch break in our office. That's Salman, the other co-founder. Um, Alex Ellis, if you're still here, thank you for the Raspberry Pis with Kubernetes. Um, we did that to gain confidence. After that, we ran our first public workshop at a local recruitment office. Um, we asked people for their feedback, and they liked it. So that was our proof of concept. We knew that there was, uh, people in Wales wanted to know about Cloud Native technologies. So my first tip this evening is to be yourself. Um, I didn't know who I was when I was doing this. Uh, the quickest way to find out is by standing in front of all of you here. Um, it, sometimes it's good to think of someone else, but soon enough, you figure yourself out. Um, so three things that you need to run a meetup. First of all, you need a venue. Now, venues are expensive. We were paying a lot of money to go to a basement in a coffee shop until we met this person at a meetup. Um, he offered for us to use their office in Cardiff. Now, their office in Cardiff is the tallest building in Cardiff, and we had epic views for free. Not only that, we could see an actual castle at our meetup. Again, b before Game of Thrones, we got castles. Um, your second problem is you're going to need speakers. We didn't know how we were going to get speakers. The tricks are look at other local meetups, email, tweet them. If you like a talk today, walk up to them and ask them if they're ever coming across to town. Um, and by chance, we found James Rawlings. So he's been uh, talking about Jenkins X today. So he came to our first meetup. Uh, finally, you need attendees. So you're just going to have to spread the word. You've got to hustle. Um, talk at other meetups. Uh, go to meetup.com. Talk to the CNCF. And they've been really helpful in helping us to promote ourselves. But on that point, point um, if you help others, others will help you. So this was us at KubeCon last year. And we were going around telling everyone that we wanted to set up this Cloud Native Wales um, to lots of different speakers. So since then, these are the meetups that we've had. So some of these speakers you probably know. Uh, quite a few of them were at Copenhagen. Um, others you might not, because we actually found out that people in Wales didn't just want to hear talks. They wanted to share their own as well. So we started with lightning talks, and then they gave their own talks. Now we're going around the world give, going to other conferences to, talk, to share these talks just from where we're from. It's, it's amazing what's happening. So another tip here, tip three, is to do it for the community. I've got quite low self-esteem. I don't think much about myself, but I think a lot about my community. I want to leave a good impact. And so for me to stand up on here, I just think of everyone that I'm doing it for back at home. And so saying that, it's not just me. There's a lot of us as well. Over time, lots of people want to build this community as well. And this isn't just people who use Kubernetes day to day. This is other people who want to get involved and build this community with us. And so that's what we started to achieve with some of our meetups. Now, we also try to push things forward with initiatives. So one thing that I would ask for you is to, when you get stickers, take some back. Because not everyone can come to these conferences and get stickers for their laptops. We have a swag table at ours. The stickers are gone within minutes. Um, if you go to speak at conferences, ask to have a spare conference ticket to give away to someone local. Again, conferences can be expensive. Some people can't afford this. If you give them a free ticket, you might be able to start an opportunity for them. If you like books, uh, to contact your favorite author. Ask if they can do a hangout with you as well. Uh, we do a tech amnesty, so this is where we just take games consoles and we donate them to the local children's hospital. And meetups and meetups is we, uh, do, cross, uh, we do crossover meetups. Uh, so we, just recently, we had AI Wales, uh, Cloud Native Wales, and AWS all have a single meetup. And just remember to treat others as you expect to be treated. Uh, with that, there's a code of conduct, which I'd always recommend that you follow. So the one thing I wasn't expecting with this was the opportunities that would arise. So previously, I've been uh, training with a company called Learn Kubernetes. But as of today, I've uh, joined a company called Jetstack, which I'm very excited to. And my first day is at KubeCon. What? <laughs> so my final note is I get quite scared about the future as well, whether it be changes in technology, whether it be politics, whether it be climate change. Um, but the one thing that I've got a constant of is this community. 
I know that I'll see the same faces next year or at other conferences. And if I ever get scared or if I ever want to reach out to anyone, I know that there's people there for me. So thank you for your time. Uh, please feel free to come up to me in a conference and yeah, enjoy KubeCon.